melibatkan masyarakat ya dalam proses menjadikan Malaysia satu negara yang demokratik negara yang uh, adil kepada semua orang tanpa uh, diskriminasi ya dengan itu empower telah bermula kami uh, membuat banyak program dengan wanita-wanita di semua lapisan masyarakat kami membuat program dengan wanita yang terlibat dalam politik kami juga membuat program dengan wanita-wanita yang ada di dalam kawasan pendalaman kami juga membuat program dengan uh, anak muda ya di kawasan yang selalunya terabai ya seperti di kawasan uh, flat kos uh, rendah ya This program is very good for wanita Untuk wanita Kalau dia datang sini ya Tapi dia pun sudah lain Dia balik rumah pun Dia pun rasa happy lah Ada macam ada sotongan Ada orang tolong dia Macam tu lah Lagi saya harap lah Lain kali kita boleh buat lagi besar Harap kalau itu wanita-wanita yang Ada orang tolong dia kan Dia boleh datang sini join kita Hati dia selalu lain Dia boleh bebas sikit rasa boleh bebas. Dia boleh faham Apa di masyarakat wanita sini In the first place, I like to thank YB Charles They have taken a great pain and interest In doing this program for the women But this kind of program should be done in more areas Other districts so that Women in other areas where they cannot come down Like maybe like Banting uh, Interior, the Kampong areas They cannot come forward to attend this kind of program But we can go there and do this program To support them and highlight the importance of uh, women And their uh, heart Heart means their rights Women should know their rights we are not weaker in any in, in anything, you see. Women are equally strong with women to uh, men today. We are doing a lot of work. We are also engineers in women. You can see we women coming specialists. Women are in the uh, in the fire brigade, police and so on. So I don't why I don't find a reason why the women should be left behind to come uh, should be left behind. They should be supported by the community and the government and upgrade them in this society so that they get also a recognition. We want the women to get recognition. Um, I think uh, for the most part, um, there are two trends that are happening right now. One is the increase in the number of single mothers, uh, definitely in Klang, and I'm sure it's certainly in the state as well. Number two, um, the brunt of increase in prices are always borne uh, by women. Uh, let me explain the first one. Single mothers increasingly are having problems in trying to manage uh, the family. Uh, and that's because uh, the increasing increase in the cost of living, uh, especially food prices, uh, rental, uh, clothing, uniforms, and so on, uh, is putting really, really putting pressure on, uh, on single mothers. I think, I think it's important to encourage women to participate in the labor force, uh, but not uh, encourage women to push women uh, to high skill jobs, though. not to become factory workers and call that 55%. Though. I think this has to be avoided. Uh, it will look very nice, oh, 60% of Malaysian workers are working. Yeah, but they're all working as factory workers. Though. That's not what you want to uh, do. Uh, you want to say that 55% of Malaysian women are, are skilled women, uh, and therefore they are a major force uh, that contributes to the Malaysian economy. And that's what you want to say. Uh, I think we are very far away from that. Because when, when Sarizad says 55, what she means is 55 percent of people, and a large large number of the 55 would be people who are factory workers. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a shame. I think Malaysian Malaysian women are uh, as good as anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that I think not enough support is being provided, uh, and existing discrimination makes it worse for them. I think the change must start in the family. Uh, number two, states must provide more support for um, uh, female children, female students. Uh, in the school system uh, and nurture them, nurture them to become uh, as good as boys, good, good as their, female, their male counterparts uh, and expose them uh, to more challenging uh, environment, uh, challenging education system. This is what we need to do. Therefore, I, really, I think we should be more skilled, skill based and once you have skills in your hands, uh, you can demand salaries. Though. It's only when you're unskilled that the market determines how much your, your salary is. Uh, I think uh, the, uh, what we have done is last year and this year is to have a series of uh, uh, 
small, small discussion groups uh, on rights of women and domestic violence. Uh, I think this is a way to begin to spark discussions uh, on uh, not only the rights, but how do you realize that rights? Uh, because having rights in paper looks very nice, but how do you realize the rights in the context of local councils, mm -hmm. uh, in the context of uh, state secretariat, for example, uh, in the context of other state agencies, too. Uh, and and uh, and these are uh, entitlements that people uh, have accept, uh, that people should be demanding as a matter of right, as a matter of entitlement. Mm -hmm. I think this is something that, that has to be done. Uh, and therefore, this is the process that has to happen. Like one of the things that I, I really fought for in the beginning of last year was to push a lot of uh, single mothers uh, and women to take up these contracts in uh, MPK, for example, Majlis Pindal Klam. Uh, but I didn't get a lot of support for that. Within the council itself? Uh, yes, and within the council and also within the existing structure of, it's got a wave, it's an old boy network. It's an old boy network. Uh, and when, they, when they, you propose ideas that vulnerable communities must be supported mm -hmm. with contracts, with jobs, and so on, uh, somehow it is not received very favorable. So you are in favor of temporary special measures? That means yes, I think that's, there's, no, there's no way out of this. I mean, I think uh, vulnerable communities and single mothers are clearly vulnerable. Uh, and I, I meet so many of them uh, that sometimes you just, you're lost, you're, you're just, oh, you're so overwhelmed. Well. What do you do? Uh, so therefore, I think the state must come in to help, and I think the state government of Slango is doing something to yeah. help. Uh, but as I said, it's just a long-term, long-term process. Uh, and in my, in my small way, I actually try to support um, um, uh, women who are doing small, small contracts, uh, 500, 600, 700. Uh, that's manageable on my side, though. And also, it's not a huge investment that even if they make losses, they all, you know, they end up selling their houses. No. So it's fine, it's okay, you lose it, it's fine. Good,